Good morning. When I was reading in Philippians on Sunday morning, I felt like I really was here in Holy Spirit talking about the difference between being content and being uh, ungrateful. And then I went to church on Sunday morning and the sermon was all about being grateful. And so I think that was a confirmation that I heard the Lord. <laughs> so today, as we go out into this week, I want to just remind myself to be grateful and to be content. Sometimes the grass looks greener on the other side of the fence. And sometimes it is, and sometimes it's not. But regardless of whether it is or not, I need to learn, you need to learn to be content right where you are. Tomorrow, there might be a shift and you might be in a completely different situation than you are today, or maybe not. And as I was reading in Philippians, I, I sort of looked at it back in backwards order, the, the end verses first in Philippians 4, and later in Philippians 4, chapter 11 and 12, um, verses 11 and 12, Paul is talking about being content. And he says, have learned the secret of being content, and it is this, I can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens me. <laughs> but he says before that, in the same chapter of Philippians, he says, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, Rejoice. <laughs> Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Being content doesn't mean that you wouldn't like for your situation to change. That's where the don't be anxious but pray comes in to play. Yeah, I would like things to be better, and yeah, I would like things to change, but being, and so pray, don't be anxious, pray, but being content is God, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, even if you don't change my situation, I will be content, whether I have lost or whether I don't have much. Read Philippians 4. Paul has some really good words there. Whether I have lots or whether I don't have much at all, I will be content. And here is one of my most um, favorite go-tos when I'm feeling grumpy, thinking the grass is greener on the other side, or just feeling grumpy in general. Finally, brothers, in verse 8, Paul says, Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these things. And so while we're waiting, for while we're being anxious for nothing and waiting for our prayers and petitions to be answered, waiting for the shift to come and things to change. And while we're practicing being content, how can I do that? How can I better do that? Well, <laughs> in my heart, to be grateful for every single day. In my heart, whatever is pure, good, lovely, admirable, praiseworthy, all of those positive things, think about these things. And so today, as I go into my week, today as you go into your week, let's remember 
even though the grass might be greener on the other side of the fence, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And so I can be content. Whether I have lots or little, I can be content if I think, if I set my mind on the good things that God has for me. And one of the simplest ways to do that is to focus on what is lovely, what is pure. We all have those things in our lives and we can witness them in other people's lives. Um, when this was taught on in church on Sunday, it was taught from uh, from out of a, a psalm. It was taught from out of Psalm 130. No, it was not. <laughs> uh, it must be 103. Anyways, um, I'm going to list it below for you to read later. What is that song? I know it. I do know it. Wait, let me look. Anyways, um, today, yep, Psalm 103. <laughs> Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And the list, oh, the beautiful list, <laughs> who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth will be renewed like the eagle. I wasn't even considering Psalm 103 when, when I felt like I was supposed to talk about being content and not being ungrateful this morning. But Psalm 103 is a beautiful list of all the reasons to be grateful. And so today as you go into your week, be content and learn to practice contentment by gazing at, at what is beautiful. And in the list of all the things that we can gaze at that are beautiful, the number one is Jesus. Look to him, the author and perfecter of our faith. And be content and grateful this week. It's going to be a great day.